today class. So I am recording this video for the benefit of those who are not able to join our Google Meet session because of the limit of our of our Google Meet uh, session. So we only have um, around 101 participants who were accommodated. So I apologize to those who were not able to join. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to discuss to you quickly um, what we were able to discuss a while ago because this is something related to your quiz. It's all about comprehension and extension. So we have known last meeting that the mental product of the first act of the mind, which is simple apprehension, is idea. Okay, So idea is the mental product of simple apprehension. When we come to, uh, to, to, to take the sense data from our environment, from the material objects in, our, in the material world, we come to, um, to, to abstract okay, this sense data and convert them to spiritual ideas. So ideas now belongs to the um, spiritual realm. Now let's talk about the properties of ideas. Okay, uh, what are the properties of ideas? Let me share to you um, the PowerPoint presentation. All right. So this is um, this is our PowerPoint presentation on the properties of ideas. It's in your Google Classroom. Please find time to read them. Um, I'm uploading all your PowerPoint presentations or all the, your learning materials in your Google Classroom. Okay, the first uh, property of ideas is comprehension. What is comprehension? Comprehension is the sum total of thought elements or conceptual features that comprise an idea. It is also known as the connotation. Okay, ano yung comprehension? Yung the way you, the way we describe things. Okay. Um, it is the sum total of all the elements of things. For example, ito, computer. When you have the idea of the word computer, what comes into your mind? These are the, ele uh, these are the elements, no? uh, according to this PowerPoint. Um, electronic, no? para i-describe mo yung computer. Electronic, data gathering, device. Okay? So computer, when you put all these elements together, it is an electronic data gathering device. The idea of computer is composed of different elements, electronic, data gathering, and device. Now, all of these, when put together, comprise a computer's comprehension. Okay? So observe that you can fully understand the idea when one of its elements is missing. Okay? Um, as for example, when you remove the word electronic from, from the description of a computer, magiging data gathering device na lang. So, you can think of many things. No? If you lessen the comprehension of a computer, uh, of the word computer, tatanggalin yung electronic, you will come to, to know different uh, data gathering devices. Like you can enumerate, no? magiging paper, yung data gathering device na yan, pwede ng notebook. Okay? Because these are also data gathering device, but they are not electronic. Okay? Yung logbook, yung... Uh, your notebook, your, your attendance sheet, your grading sheet, all of these are uh, data gathering devices. No? Paano naman kapag tinanggal natin yung element na data gathering okay? mula, sa, mula sa description ng computer? So magiging electronic device na lang. Okay? Hindi na siya magiging computer no? because electronic device, you can also enumerate a lot of examples of electronic devices. For example, Cellphone, okay, uh, pwede ring study lamp, pwede ring electric fan, pwede ring, uh, refrigerator. All of these are electronic devices. But when you add these elements together, electronic data gathering device, you will come to know that it's a computer. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, these are the elements of uh, a computer. Kaya yan, yan yung tinatawag nating comprehension. It is the sum total of thought elements or conceptual features that comprise an idea. Yung kabaliktaran ng comprehension naman is what we call extension. Okay? Ano naman yung extension? Extensions are the examples or applications to which an idea may be applied. It is also known as the denotation. Okay. So for example, yung idea na computer. What are the extensions of a computer? 
Pwede natin sabihin MacBook Pro, okay, Acer Aspar, HP Mini Note. Okay, these are examples or up or uh, the way you apply the word computer. Okay? So kung mas general yung bagay, mas nagiging marami yung kanyang examples or applications. Okay? Pero pag sinabi mong MacBook Pro um, as compared doon sa computer, mas konti yung extension or examples ng MacBook Pro kasi mas specific siya. So kung mas general siya like computer, no? Mas marami siyang examples. So yun lang tatandaan nyo. If it is more general, there is more examples. There are more examples or applications. And therefore, there, there is greater extension. Okay? So take note that ex extensions are examples or applications. They are usually proper nouns. No? Though not at all times. For example, yung computer... Um, and MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro here is the proper noun, di ba? Another example, school and St. Paul College of Ilocosur. Okay? Um, school, uh, St. Paul College of Ilocosur here is an example or extension of the, the word school. Okay? Kung baga yung proper noun, siya yung extension. Okay? Ano pa? For example, religion and Islam. Islam is the is a form of religion. It is a specific proper noun, yung, yung Islam. Okay? So, dito, dito, uh, dito sa, ano, sa example natin, religion and Islam. Okay? Mas maraming, uh, dun, dun sa um, general, okay, dun, dun sa general uh, word, which is religion, there is greater extension. Bakit? Kasi mas maraming example ng religion eh, kaysa sa Islam. When you say religion, you can refer to Christianity, to Catholic Church, to um, Buddhism, Hinduism, di ba? Catholicism. Um, uh, what else? Uh, Shintoism. Di ba? Ang daming mga types ng religions. You, you can give so many applications and examples. That is why you have greater extension. Kapag common noun or general noun yung binibigay ko. Okay? Um, what else uh, can you think of? You also have, uh, for example, ball pen and panda ball pen, no? which, is the co which is the general or common noun there. Yun ay yung ball pen. So kapag yung general, yung general noun is yung ball pen, ibig sabihin, mas greater yung extension niya. Mas marami kang examples na magbibigay. Okay? Uh, like uh, my, uh, my gel, okay, GTEC, okay? Um, many other forms of uh, of ball pens, okay? So, yung specific noun doon, which is panda ball pen, it has lesser extension, okay? Than, lesser extension than uh, the, the ball pen, okay? Kasi specific noun kasi yung panda, eh. okay? So, yun lang yun, okay? So, let's summarize, no? let's summarize, summarize the rule. The logical rule is that there is a reverse relationship between comprehension and extension. Kung mas, mala mas malawak yung comprehension, mas konti yung extension. The greater the comprehension, the lesser the extension. Parating magkabaliktad yan. If, if the comprehension is lesser, lesser comprehension, mas konti, the extension is much greater. Okay? Much greater uh, yung extension natin. So for example, doon nga sa example natin na na ball pen tsaka ba, panda ball pen. So, yung yung ball pen, okay? It has greater comprehension. Okay, greater comprehension, but it has lesser ex, uh, it rather sorry, sorry. For the ball pen, the word ball pen, it has lesser comprehension, mas konti yung comprehension niya, but it has greater extension. Mas marami kang examples na mabibigay. Okay? Pero doon sa panda ball pen, it has greater comprehension kasi mas marami kang words na pan-describe sa kanya sa panda ball pen. So panda ball pen, you can give a lot of descriptions to it pero mas konti yung extension niya. Okay? Because it is a proper noun, panda ball pen is a type of a ball pen. Okay? Ano pa? Example natin. Yung... Uh, yung religion and Islam. Okay? Religion and Islam. Okay. 
when we say religion, it is that it is the common noun, right? It is more general, mas general siya. But when we say Islam, okay, it is the specific noun. It is the proper noun, okay, which is the type of religion. So when we say religion, the, the common noun, mas, mas konti yung comprehension, pero mas greater extension, mas marami siyang examples. Okay? Um, Nag-enumerate nga tayo kanina ng religion, like um, Hinduism, Buddhism, di ba? Ka, um, Christianity. Okay? Pero when you say Islam, that is the specific, more specific noun, then um, it, has, uh, it has lesser extension. Okay? Kasi mas specific siya kesa doon sa religion. Okay? But it has a greater comprehension, yung Islam, it has a greater comprehension because you have a lot of I, two of descriptions for Islam, okay? As as compared to as compared to the word religion, okay? So sa pag sinabi mong Islam, okay, you can say uh, it is a Muhammad, uh, a religion that is has been founded by Muhammad. So mas nagiging specific na siya, mas nagiging detailed na siya. So it has become it has greater comprehension pero mas konti yung extension, okay? Okay. So, ito yung mga simple rules natin. Number one, proper nouns, which are the extensions or examples, are more specific. Okay? So, they have greater comprehension. For example, dito yung example is cellphone and Nokia. So, uh, Nokia here is a proper noun. Okay? It is a type of cellphone. So, it has greater Nokia has greater comprehension. Okay? Ayan. Second rule. Second rule, classificatory words or genus are general, mas general. They have greater extension. So sabi, sabi nga natin kanina, kung mas general yung word or yung idea, mas marami kang examples or applications na mabibigay. For example, dito sa animal and vertebrate, alin yung general word dyan or yung common noun dyan? That is, Animal, di ba? Okay. Uh, because in animal, okay, you can give more examples. The vertebrate there is a type of an animal. Okay? So an what are the examples of animals? You can give amphibians, reptiles, mammals. Okay? It, it has greater extensions than vertebrate. Okay. Third, the third rule is proper nouns are extensions themselves. So they have the least extension. Okay. As for example, dito sa uh, words dito sa examples, man and Juan de la Cruz. Juan de la Cruz is a man. Okay, so he is at is he is one of the men. Okay, so man here is more general. Juan de la Cruz is a proper noun. So they are extension. Uh, the, he is an extension himself. Si Juan de la Cruz, extension siya mismo. Kaya mas konti na yung extension, least lesser extension. But with number four, common nouns with their corresponding types have lesser comprehension. Okay? Um, for example, yung dog and beagle. Di ba? Alin yung common noun dyan? Alin yung general noun dyan? That is the dog. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, mas lesser yung comprehension niya kesa sa, sa proper noun, sa, sa specific noun which is beagle. Okay, because beagle is a type of a dog. Okay? So, ayan. So, parating magkabaliktad yung, yung comprehension tsaka extension. Okay? Kung mas malawak yung comprehension, mas konti yung, ex, yung extension. Okay? Kung mas malawak yung extension, mas maraming extension or examples, mas konti naman yung comprehension. Parating silang magkabaliktad. Okay? So these are the fingertip rules that you need to master. Yan, simple lang yan. Uh, you just go over the examples here in the PowerPoint slide. Um, okay. And uh, when you are more specific, you are looking for one application. When you are generalizing, you may refer to a wide number of examples. Okay. So ganun lang kasimple yun, no? 
kapag mas general yung word or yung idea, mas marami kang magbibigay na examples. Pero kapag mas specific, mas specific yung bagay, you are looking for only one appli one application. Okay. So generally that's what we what, what we talked about. We only had one R class. So um, I hope you cope with our uh, with our lessons. Uh, do not uh, lag behind. Always submit your requirements. Okay, so that you will get a high grade in my class. Okay. So take care of yourself, take care of your health. And um, if you have questions, feel free to um, to to send me a message in my uh, messenger account. Actually, one of your classmates uh, already asked me some clarifications and, I, and she was able to get clarified with her, um, with her questions or, uh, uh, regarding our subject. Also, you will not have your prelims. Um, we only have midterms and finals in our syllabus. Okay, midterms saka finals lang. Mag-submit lang kayo ng mga activities and quizzes. And then in your midterms and finals, um, technically, repetition lang siya ng activities. Kung baga sa midterms and finals, I will compile all, all your activities. Tapos kung ano yun nandun, uh, I, will, I, I will give them as your midterms. Okay, para uh, re review nyo na lang yung midterms ninyo. Hindi na kayo mabibigatan in your study load. Okay, but your activities and your quizzes, they comprise 40% uh, of your grade. So, mas malaki yung percentage ng mga requirements ninyo, yung mga activities and quizzes. Okay. So, happy weekend and take care. God bless.